Hey guys! In this video, we're going to be learning about linear systems and how to find the point of intersection, or shall I say the break-even points, in a graph with two lines. So let's jump right into it. So far, we've been looking at just one line at a time on the Cartesian plane. Now, it's possible that there might be two lines that exist simultaneously on the same plane. So let's say one of these lines has the following equation, and the other line has this equation. Since the two lines are not parallel to each other, we can assume that at a certain point the lines will intersect each other. We call this point a point of intersection, or a break-even point. Now for these two lines, we can see that at the point of intersection, or break-even point, when x is 2, y is 6 for both lines. So you can think of this point as the one point on the two graphs that share the same x-y coordinates. And notice how for the other x values, both the lines have differing y values. For example, for this line, when x is 1, y is 5. But for this line, when x is 1, y is 3. Clearly, the two graphs don't share a common point at an x of 1. And again, if we repeated this process of looking at a certain x and then inspecting the two different y values of the two different graphs, we'd realize that there is only one point shared between the two graphs. All right, so now that we've got a strong concept of the point of intersection, let's take a look at an example together. With your existing knowledge of linear equations, is the coordinate 3, 8 a point of intersection for the following two graphs? Well, the answer is no. And here is how we could have found out the answer together. First of all, to say that a point is a point of intersection means that this point is shared between two graphs. This means right away that when we plug in this point's x value, we should get this point's y value as the final answer for both this equation and this equation. So let's test this out and go ahead by plugging in 3 into this equation. What we get is 9 minus 1, which equals to 8. Awesome! So this point does exist on this line, but let's see if the same applies for the next line. As we can see, when we plug in 3 for this equation, we get negative 3 plus 2, which equals to minus 1. So, for this equation, when x equals 3, y is equal to negative 1. Therefore, 3, 8, is not a point of intersection between these two lines. Awesome! So notice how we were given a point and we were asked to find out if the point was a point of intersection for two different graphs. But what if we were being asked to find out the point of intersection between two lines? How would we be able to find it? Well, there are two different ways to do this. One method uses the elimination method and the other uses the substitution method. So be sure to check out both the Solving Linear Systems Elimination Method video and the Solving Linear Systems Substitution Method lessons to learn more about this. Well then, that's the end of this lesson and we will see you guys in the next one. <laughs>